Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Oh, I'm Brad Heineck, physical therapist, and I'm watching him destroy his body as he types and works on the But you floor. forgot, and together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. Well, I, I knew that though, Bob. All right. In our opinion. In our opinion, of He's course. He's all, uh, all right. killing me. I'll tell you, today, in today's environment, now, what has been more popular than the laptop, the iPads, the tablets, and the smartphones and the phones? And what that is leading to is what some people refer to as an epidemic of pain. All right, I, and I've seen several patients already that have developed pain because of the, the way they work on a laptop. Sure. You know, I, I, got, I, have, I have one young girl, she was a college girl, she should sit on her bed, you know, with her feet up actually, and like this. Uh -huh. And we're going to talk about, give you a good visualization why this really is putting a huge amount of stress on your neck and why you're getting this pain. Exactly. So, how are you going to start, Brad? Okay. <laughs> Let's assume the position. All right. Okay. Now, this is really bad for the whole back, the upper and lower, but we're going to focus here for this discussion. Uh, look at Bob's head. We've got the weight of his head. We've got a, uh, about an eight-pound melon there. And it's a, okay, it's an eight-pound skull. Eight to ten pounds. Eight to ten pounds. Gravity is pulling straight down. What's supporting it but the muscles here and the spine? Okay, now if he's going to sit here and work on a paper for, you know, more than five minutes, he's going to be overstressing this. Over 20 minutes, he's really going to be putting stress on his spine. Now, how much stretch? Let's take a look at this. Let's break this down. Here's his spine, and look at this. Look at, this would be his head right here, and we'll look at the spine. It is not made to have this kind of pressure pushing down on it for long periods of time, you really can stress the muscles, the discs, which can lead to herniated discs, which can cause problems with the nervous system. It's terrible, and that's why when Bob was first done, I just cannot stand to see people on sit up tall, Bob. Uh -huh. Area going. Wow, it actually bothers me. Too. <laughs> that feel yeah, better just there. Yeah. yeah. So let's show the let's show Wilson. Oh yeah, yeah bring him. and this is uh, yeah. I want to introduce you to Wilson. I've uh, I've used Wilson for demonstrations for just this correct, so people can get a good visual on how to correct and why to correct their posture. Okay, Wilson, say hi to the crew out there in, uh, in video land. Okay, he says hi. Wilson's been with me for a long time. You can see his face is uh, starting to pull. Yeah, but uh, you know, I'm gonna keep it that way. My daughter and I made that, and uh, so we're sticking with it. So got, this is about the weight of a head. This represents the spine. Okay, right. Bob, can you assume that position again? All right, but by the way, his head's going to be facing this way if he's like me, right? Right, unless he's looking at the camera. He's kind right. of that way. He's looking at the camera. Yeah. Okay, like so then he's got about an angle of about a 45 degree. Now, if I hold on to that, and I can definitely feel a lot more stress to hold that ball up. So and his hands and the muscles of the forearm are representing the muscles of my neck exactly. and how much work it takes to hold that head up. Right. So this, I could stand or sit here like this all day right. holding that So if we're up. lined up like this, correct, right over the spine, exactly. hardly any stress on the muscles at all, any stress on the nerves, any stress on the discs. Exactly. But as soon as you go forward like this, and the whole thing about this is it's very cumulative. Uh, you know, you can get away with this, especially as a young kid. You can get away with this probably for quite a few years. Right. But eventually, and I'll tell you, I can tell you when it happened to me. It happened to me when I was in physical therapy school. I was in that habit of going like this. And I started getting sharp pain down between my shoulder blades, and it was exactly from this. And luckily, I was in therapy school, and I learned that at that point, right. you got to start correcting your posture. Posture is just so incredibly important. Yeah. Mom was always right. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. I'm sorry. Never believe it. When your kids are sitting at the table, you say sit up straight, and they're going to remember that. My daughter actually corrects me now. She's 14. If I'm slouching, she'll my kids she's... do too. Yeah. And my wrists are really getting tired here, Bob. I'm going to develop some tendonitis and some problems. Wilson, how are you doing? And, and Wilson is much happier yeah. when he's up as well. Aren't you, Wilson? See that? Yes. Life is good, isn't it? Yes. Okay, very good. What about good. Bob? We're you done. Like Bob? We're no, done. No, Bob, no fun. <laughs> 